YouTube has finally made me a trillionaire. I'm so grateful to all of my fans. What? Why is this happening? Ah, why is everything on fire? YouTube sucks. No, I'm trapped. Ah! <sighs> oh, it was just a dream. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. I'm late again. I, I gotta go to work. Hey, uh, sorry, sorry I'm late, sir. You've been late one too many times, Billy. You're fired. No, you, you gotta be kidding me. Please, I have rent to pay. You should have thought of that before you got fired. Now get out of here. Oh, come on. I just need a few more days for the rent money, please. What? No, not my fault, you poor. The landlord wants the money now or you're out of the house, pal. Dad, what's going on? We're $100 short on the rent. If we don't pay now, we'll lose the house. Oh, you're gonna lose the house, trust me. I was saving this for a camera, but this is more important. Here, it's $100. Wow, you're really a loser, huh? Making your son pay the rent for you? Hey, back off, man. I'm doing what I can to help my family. Whatever, you're a loser and you're stupid and poor too. You should live somewhere you can afford too, like a dumpster, you piece of trash. Don't listen to him, dad. Look, we'll be okay. Thanks for that, son. I promise I'll pay you back. Hey, wait a second. Why are you home early? Shouldn't you be at work? Yeah, but the guy fired me. How are we gonna pay next month's rent now? Look, I, I don't know, okay? I'll figure it out. This might be the start of something bigger though, Dad. You know how much I wanna be a YouTuber and I think I can make a lot of money from it. Maybe even a trillion dollars. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You need to get a real job or else we won't have a place to live for much longer. Kid, you smell like garbage. He'll drive the customers away. Come on, please. I really need this. Why don't you try being a janitor, a garbage guy? You'll fit right in. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. No, it wasn't. Oh, come on. Ugh, no one wants to hire me. Cut, cut! Ah, uh, dude, you loser! You just ruined the take! What do you think you're doing, pal? What? Calm down, man. I was just walking. Great. Thanks to you, poor idiot. Now I have to restart, and I was totally in the zone. Whoa, wait. You're Grayson, that big YouTuber, right? Yeah, obviously. Look, I want to start my own YouTube channel. Oh, that's so cool. Do you want some advice? Yeah, that'd be great. Quit. What? Yeah, you heard him, pal. I said quit. You're a poor, pathetic loser. You'll never make it on YouTube. Well, I don't care what you think, man. I'm not just going to give up on my dream. The shot, all right? We have a video to finish, pal. Yeah, no worries, guys. Hey, thanks for the advice, Grayson. Oh, come on. What's wrong with this thing? Oh, stupid camera. Hey, man, you need some help with that? Oh, hey, uh, yeah, I just bought this thing and I can't seem to figure it out. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Well, just uh, let me take a look. Oh, dude, you just got to change the setting. Here you go. Whoa, this looks so much better now. Thanks. You really have a knack for this stuff, huh? Uh, sort of. I want to be a YouTuber, and I was saving up for a camera just like that, actually. Well, I'm a YouTuber, too. My name's Owen. Nice to meet you, dude. I'm Billy. I was just about to shoot a video. You mind helping me out? Yeah, man. I'd love to. Well, I think we got everything we needed. Thanks again. You did great, man. No problem. Happy to help. Are you sure you haven't done this before? No, but I mean, I do have my own channel. I just haven't posted anything yet. You know, I could use a full-time cameraman. This stuff is really hard. If you're interested in doing that for me, I could help you with your channel. That'd be amazing, dude. I I'm in. Sweet. And here, take this for the great work today. I'm shooting another video on Friday. You'll be there, right? Yeah, man. You can count on it. Thanks, Owen. There you are. You've been gone all day. Yeah, I know, but you wouldn't believe what happened to me. Did you find a job? Yeah, I did. I'm going to be a cameraman for this YouTuber guy. A YouTuber guy? Seriously, Billy? That's not a real job. How are you going to make money doing that? I mean, look, I already got paid for the video I shot today. Owen gave me $500. Whoa, maybe I was wrong about this. But you know, this YouTube thing isn't reliable. It's not going to last. Just some dumb, stupid trend. Come on, Dad. You have to trust me on this. I believe in this. I, I think it could change our lives. All right, all right, fine. I'll give you one chance with this, but if things go south, you're getting a real job. No arguments, got it? Okay, I promise, Dad, you won't regret this. If you could eat only pizza or tacos for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Pizza, dude, I eat pizza every day, man. <laughs> Congratulations, dude, you won the challenge. Oh my gosh, I never won anything in my life. All right, guys, we're gonna start the next video in three. Two, 
one. Hey, man, this just came for you. Oh, no way. Let's see what it is. Whoa, dude, it's my 100,000 subscriber plaque. This is insane. That's sick. Man, I really hope to get one of those someday. You will, dude. My channel's been skyrocketing because of your help. We make a great team. Yeah, we do. Speaking of, what are we filming next? Well, because my channel's doing so good, I got a collab with another big YouTuber coming up this week. Who is it? Oh, you'll meet him at work. For now, I want to keep it a surprise. In the meantime, I want you to focus on your channel. Let's help it grow. You I mean, you've done so much for me. It's the least I can do. Awesome. You know, I've got a ton of ideas. I think I'm ready. Great. Then let's go film them. Whoa, so this is where our collab is gonna be? I've never seen a set like this. I know, right? Me either. Dude, this video is gonna be huge. What the? What are you doing here? Oh, hey, Grayson. This is my cameraman, Billy. This poor is your cameraman? Ugh, gross. Hey, watch it, dude. I didn't realize this was the YouTuber you were talking about, Owen. Uh, is there a problem here, guys? A problem? Yeah, there's a huge problem. No poor pathetic wannabes are allowed on my set. Dude, Billy isn't a wannabe. We both have our own YouTube channels. Yeah, man, I even have my first video ready to post. I even have my first video. Well, I bet it's gonna suck just like you. Owen, you're cool, but this guy sucks. If you want to be on this shoot, he's not allowed. He has to leave. Dude, Billy's my friend. Well, if he doesn't leave, the collab is off. And I'll tell everyone you're a terrible person too. Make your choice, dude. I'm really sorry, man. Wait, what? What are you talking about? This is going to be huge for me, Billy. I, I need this collab. Dude, you can't be serious right now. Did you just see how that guy treated us? I know, but he's one of the biggest YouTubers out there. I'm so thankful for everything you've done for me, man. And the video we made for you, it's really good. I want you to post it, but I think maybe you should leave. Whatever, man. If you want to be around people like this, then just have fun. Hope it's worth it. So, you lost your job again! Yeah, pretty sure I did. And a friend, too. You need a real job, Billy. We had a deal. Yeah, but I'm not just going to give up on my dream that easily, okay? It hasn't even started yet. Look, I'm going to post that video and another and another, okay? I need to do it to help us. I am sick and tired of hearing about this stupid dream of yours. Look, this could change our lives. Don't you think it's at least worth a shot? No, I don't. Without you working, how are we supposed to pay the bills? Buy ourselves food? How are we going to survive? Get a job, and that's final. Fine, I'll get a real job, but I'm still posting that video. Whatever. It's not like anything's going to come out of it anyways. Wow. Thanks, Dad, for believing in me. Really appreciate it. This is my fifth place today. I hope this works. Um, excuse me, are you guys hiring? Hey, I recognize you. Wait, you do? Yeah, you're that new YouTuber, Billy, right? Man, I love that video you posted last night. Wait, you saw it? Thanks. I didn't think anyone watched it yet. Seriously? Dude, the video is blowing up right now. No way. Wait, what? A thousand subs overnight? That's insane. Yeah, why would you want a job here? This place sucks. I would literally be doing you a disservice if I hired you. You need to make more videos. Okay, okay. Thanks, man. I knew this would be the start of something great. Go get him, dude. Can't wait to see your next upload. I'm going to comment first. I'll be posting again soon, okay? I promise. Wow, so this is where poor people live, huh? What do you want, man? I came to make you an offer, and I thought you'd love to hear it. Yeah, after you got me fired from working with Owen? Dude, I don't want anything to do with you. Just leave. I'm not going anywhere until you hear what I have to say. Fine, say it and get it over with. Look, I'll give you $10,000 to stop posting videos right now. Wait a minute. Are you scared? Dude, it sounds like you're worried that I'm going to be a better YouTuber than you. Worried about you? <laughs> Hardly. Do yourself a favor and keep your money, Grayson. I'm never going to stop posting, especially not for you. Fine, but you'll regret this, Billy. I'll make sure of it. I bet I will. Dad, hey, I'm glad you're home. Look, I've got some great news. Why didn't you take that money? You heard that? Our walls are literally made of cardboard, Billy. Of course I heard it. Well, then you heard what he wanted me to do. There's no way I could say yes to that guy. Yes, you could have. It's very easy. 
three letters, Y-E-S, and we would have had $10,000. We need that money right now. Do you know how far $10,000 would have gone for us? Sorry, Dad, but I'm not just going to give up on my dream, especially for someone like that guy. I can't believe you. You're so selfish. So, thanks for all the support, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. Oh, man. Out of focus again? This is so much harder with just one person. Yo, dude, you need some help? No, I'm doing fine on my own. Thanks, though. Come on, man. I can tell you're having a hard time. I could help film for you. Look, I don't think your buddy Grayson would like that, man. Yeah, uh, well, working with Grayson sucks. I could have told you that. He's just so mean, you know? He doesn't let me do anything. He tells me what I can and can't post on my own channel now. Well, what did you expect when you decided to work with him, Owen? I tried to warn you. I don't know, but I didn't expect this mess. I'm really sorry about how everything turned out, Billy. It was wrong for me to tell you to leave. Yeah, it was. Can you forgive me? Maybe someday. Well, if you need help filming anytime, just uh, let me know, okay? Yeah, I'll think about it. I'll see you around, Owen, okay? Just good luck with everything. I think I got some useful stuff for my video. I just need to edit it and then... What the? Dad? Dad! No, 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 no! <laughs> Look, Mitchell, we totally got him. Hey, we got the perfect shot! Dad, no, no! <laughs> Loser! What the heck? You guys did this? Are you insane? <laughs> yeah, we did. I bought your little pathetic shack of a house from your dad, and now it's gone. Totally worth it, too. So funny. <laughs> funny? This is my home. You could have hurt someone. Look at his face, dude. He's so like, ah, oh, you could have hurt someone. Oh, this is so priceless, man. Seriously, Billy, who cares about your stupid house? This is going to be a sick video, especially featuring a sad, pathetic, wannabe YouTuber like you. Where is my dad? I don't know, and I don't care. I gave him some money for your stupid house. He's probably at a homeless shelter by now. He's got nowhere else to go, right? Dad? Oh, there you are. How could you do something like that? That house, it was all we had left. I was fired from my job, Billy, and we needed the money. And I told you, $10,000 would have gone a long way. You sold our home and all of our stuff for, for $10,000? It was a steal. The house wasn't worth anything anyways. It was our home, Dad. Now what? We're going to live here? I don't know. I guess so. Look, my channel is starting to take off. I could have helped you. I don't want any of that stupid YouTube money. You took Grayson's money. How's that any different? You're just being a hypocrite now. That is different. I'm in a rough patch, Billy. And if you really wanted to help me out, you would get a real job. This is my real job. I'm tired of you always looking down on it. No, it's not. And if it was, we wouldn't be in this mess to begin with. You're just trying to shift the blame on me for the choices that you made. Well, make yourself at home, Billy, because this is where we live now. No, it's not. All right, everyone. Just hit 10,000 subscribers. And I need to really step up my game. I've got a feeling this video will be the one. Dude, you look like a pathetic loser. <laughs> Still making your terrible little YouTube videos? It's so cute. Dude, you have nothing better to do? Just leave me alone. Enjoy making videos while you can. Your channel's gonna die tomorrow when I release my epic prank video on you. Yeah, no one's gonna like it anyway. Maybe think twice before posting it. Whatever, dumb idiot. Just give me that camera. Yo, dude, that's enough. Huh? Oh, what the heck? You seriously just punched me in the face? Yeah, I did. Felt kind of good, too. Dude, you're totally fired for that. I actually don't work for you, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, so stupid. Hey, thanks for helping me out there, man. Yo, oh, it's the least I could do. I've been a terrible friend. I should have never sided with Grayson. Yeah, you both seriously acted like jerks, man. I know, so please let me make it up to you, okay? Can I help you film your video? I could use an extra hand. Uh, okay, sure. Thanks, man. But come on, let's show Grayson what a good YouTube video actually looks like. Wow! After all that hard work, I finally have 100,000 subscribers! Now, where's the perfect spot for this beauty? Yo, dude, you have to help me! What the? How did you get here? How do you know where I live? I have my ways. Get lost, man. Why would I ever help you? Because this is all your fault and you have to help me. 
My fault? What are you even talking about? Because of you, my YouTube channel's a mess. I uploaded the prank video of your dumb house blowing up, and now no one's watching my stuff anymore. It sounds like it's your problem. I try to warn you. Look, you have to fix this. I think we need to make another video together. You say you're in on the prank, and it will all blow over, okay? And I'll be popular again. You can't be serious right now, man. I'm not just gonna lie to my audience, especially not for you. Well, you're gonna make a big mistake then, Billy. We could be unstoppable together. Think about it. You should think about it. If you weren't such a jerk earlier, we could have been friends and none of this would have happened. But we're not. So leave my apartment now. Ugh, fine. This place smells anyway. You're gonna regret this, Billy. Hey, Dad. What are you doing here? Look, I've got some good news. I'm working, Billy. Yeah, well, I just made a bunch of money from my channel, and I rented out an apartment for us. What's the catch? No catch. What are you on about? I know we've had our differences, but look, I want you to move in with me. You're my family. Billy, I'm tired of all this dumb YouTube stuff. I've got a steady job now, finally, and I'm going to be getting my own place again. You're still living at that homeless shelter, aren't you? Yep, haven't kicked me out yet. Dad, you don't have to be so stubborn about this, okay? When I become a trillionaire, you don't even have to work ever again. I'd rather be done with this dumb dream of yours. I wanted us to have a normal, stable life, but you didn't listen to me. And I'll be here when it all falls apart. Hey, what's this kid doing here? We're trying to work! Okay, boss. He was just leaving. Can't believe you. Yo, rising star kid, you're doing great. You're fantastic, you're beautiful. But with Timmy Talents as your agent, you'll shoot straight to the top, bigger and better. Thanks for the offer, Timmy Talents. But I'd like to know the terms of this brand deal before anything else. <laughs> Thanks, What you should be focused on is the mountains of cash you're going to make. The brand likes you, stardom awaits you, along with a ton of money. Just as long as you do well with your first brand deal, of course. Look, I promise, all right? This video will be a masterpiece. The brand will absolutely love it. Well, they better, because if they don't, you won't see a dime from this deal. Zero, silch, nada. Sounds kind of risky, dude. I don't know. Don't worry, Owen. We've got this. Our videos are great. I'm willing to take the risk. That's the spirit. Just don't let me down, kid. Shine bright. Be a star. You're gonna be a star. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Congratulations, Quimby. You won the challenge, and this Lamborghini is now yours. Oh, jeez. This is incredible. Oh, I can't believe this. I'm so happy. And before we wrap up, I'd like to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video who made all of this pop. Oh, let's go. Dude, what the heck are you doing? You just ruined my video. Yeah, but I just shot the best video in the world for my channel. <laughs> this is going to take you right back to the top. Later, idiot. Huh. Oh, whoa, dude. That, that Lambo is like totally broken now. I'm, I'm so sorry, Quimby. So like, you're going to give me like another one, right? Like, I, I, I won the challenge. That's the only one I could get. Maybe I can find you another car? Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm freaking out, man. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, I'm gonna go punch somebody. What are we gonna do now? I have no idea. We can't submit this disaster to the brand. I just can't believe it. Yo, dude, I got something for you. What is it? Now, I know you said not to, but I submitted that video to the brand deal. What? Owen! I know, I know. You thought it was going to ruin the channel. Well, it's too late now. What do they say? They absolutely loved it. Wait, what? How in the world? I know, right? And that's not all. Timmy Talents, he called me directly. They're giving us a million dollars for that one video. A million? Dude, you can't be serious. This is unreal. Only good things from here on out, man. You've really made it. Uh, I've got to go, dude. Thank you so much. Go? Dude, we need to celebrate. Yeah, and we will, okay? But I need to find my dad. I have to tell him about all of this. Maybe now he'll finally take me seriously. Dad? Dad, where the heck is he? Hey, excuse me. Have you seen Greg? Who wants to know? I do. He's my dad. Oh, yeah? Greg, uh, he left a couple days back. Then he found himself a place to live. He did? Why didn't he tell me? Did he say where? No, he didn't. Wait a second, you're his son, right? Yeah. OK, 
Okay, good. Because before you left, he told everyone that if his son ever came looking for him, I wish him good luck. Said he's had enough of the whole YouTube thing, and he was never going to watch another YouTube video ever again. I can't believe he just lived without telling you where to find him. I was doing all of this for him, everything. No, people need to find their own path, kid. Why are you so mad about it? Leave your dad alone. Stupid kid, I hate him. Well then, I guess it's time I find mine. I'm going to become a trillionaire for myself. You did it, Billy! And it only took you a year to do it, too! I'm impressed, I'm baffled, I'm amazed! I hit 10 million subs? This is crazy! I'm gonna have to make a video to celebrate! Now, with 10 million subscribers and millions in the bank, we need to start thinking big. Expand your brand, reach greater heights! We're gonna make you the biggest celebrity in history! Well, I've been thinking about that, Mr. Talents. I want to start a chain of healthy fast food restaurants. <laughs> yes, I love it. And I want homeless people to eat for free. And now I hate it. Listen, kid, I want to be honest. I want to be forward with that. You're going to lose a lot of money with that idea. Look, I've seen what it's like to be poor, okay? I want to give back. It's not just about the money for me. Oh, really? I didn't know that about you. Uh, my bad, kid. It's not fair the way poor and homeless people are treated. And I need to change that. Hmm, give me a moment, give me a moment. Well, if we tell people your backstory, it's actually a brilliant idea, kid. Humanitarian. I'm great for PR. You'll be an even bigger star. Yeah, I know. You never stop reminding me. <laughs> all right, all right. Point taken. We'll get this done. I'll make some calls. We'll get you your restaurant, kid. That's a teeny talent's promise. Looks like everything's perfect. Isn't this place something? Man, this is so awesome. Wow. It was until you showed up. Come on, man. It's been a year. You're still holding on to that grudge. It's not a grudge, dude. I just know that you're an awful human, Grayson. And I know for a fact you haven't changed at all. Are you here to annoy me or sabotage my video shoot again? I'm not here for either of those things. My videos aren't getting views, all right? I need you to fix it for me. Fix it? After everything you've done, you're literally the worst person I know, man. I'm not going to help you. But you owe me. All the stunts I pulled, all the pranks, all the drama between you and me. It should be blowing up my channel, but it's taking it instead. Yeah, well, maybe you should try switching up your content. Maybe try to be genuine, real, a good person. This was supposed to be my life, not yours. You have no idea what my life was, Grayson. Give me some of your money, now. Dude, get out before I call security. Fine, I'll get you one day, Billy, and I'll get that money. So, thank you for all your incredible support. And remember, when you get a Billy's Burger, not only are you getting a delicious meal, but a portion of the proceeds goes to your local homeless shelter. And if you're in a tough spot and you can't afford one, don't worry. Burgers are always on me. I love burgers! Yes! Billy, dude, this guy's great! Yo, looks like this video's gonna crush, dude. The restaurant looks incredible. It's better than I even imagined. And with 100 million subscribers on the horizon, we're just getting started. With all this, might just put us over the edge. Wait a sec, is that Dad? Billy? Dad, what are you doing here? I'm gonna check this out. What's all this? It's my place, my restaurant. All this is yours. I heard there was a new burger joint opening up and I had no idea. It's been a while since I've seen you, Dad. Look, I guess I'm uh, happy for you, Billy, but just doing fine on my own. I'm gonna go. Dad, I haven't seen you in a year and you're still gonna act this way? You want no part of this YouTube world of yours. I'm done. Billy, 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 I gotta hand it to you. Billy's Burgers is a massive success. We can't open these stores fast enough. I'm just happy that people are supporting our cause for the homeless. Now, why did you want to see me? Oh, yeah. Uh, with Billy's Burgers going up everywhere, you practically put every other fast food joint out of business. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Don't worry. Everyone loves it. Oh, and I have more news for you. Congratulations, kid. You're a billionaire, a certified star. That's amazing. Now I need to think about my next move. Ooh, I've got the perfect idea. How about Timmy's World? My very own amusement park. Just imagine it. Hurry, do it. Come on. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? You love it, don't you? Uh, I'd rather not, but thanks for the suggestion, Timmy. I'll think of something. Yo, Billy, dude, something came for you. 
What's that? I don't know. Why don't you open it up and see? This? This is... Dude, that's the 100 million subscriber plaque. Whoa, this is incredible. YouTube made it custom just for you. You know, I knew you could get this far. And after everything that went down in the past, dude, I just want to say again, I'm sorry. That was ages ago, man. I forgave you a long time ago, and we've grown so much since. Speaking of growth, what's next? You said you wanted a new idea. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Got any good ones? Well, I mean, we've learned so much about the industry. I just wish we knew all about this when we first started, you know? Imagine if someone had taught us all of this right from the beginning. Maybe that someone could be you. Dude, that's a good idea. I can open up a school for YouTubers. I'm so happy to be doing this for all of the people who want to be YouTubers out there. I hope you all learn the ins and outs, but I really want you to understand. It's a grind, but this place will give each and every one of you a leg up in this challenging industry. Yeah, Benny, Benny, look at me. Yeah, guys, I know. Just a big famous YouTuber. No one to see here. Seriously, dude? Come on, you idiot. I need this. I need to learn how to win back my fans. Yeah, I don't like this guy. You suck, Grayson. This guy's awful. I hate him. Come on, you heard them. You gotta fix this. You're gonna let me come here for free, right? This place is for positive people. There's no room for you here. You're the worst person ever. I can't believe you won't let me in. I hate you. You, yeah, you, you're rude and you're under a rash. No way, I I'm out of here. Ugh, I hate when they do this. Let him go, Finkleberry. He's already hit rock bottom. Good, cause I hate running. Wait, dad, what are you doing here? Homeless, what does it look like I'm doing? Throwing a party? I haven't been able to find a job. This is where I live now. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you hide this? I didn't want you to know. You can come live with me, all right? I'm not just going to leave you on the streets. No. Why are you acting this way? I, I don't want to admit I was wrong about the whole YouTube thing. I'm sorry, okay? I was trying to take away your dream, and I should have supported you the whole time. No kidding. All I ever wanted was for you to be there for me, Dad. To see me make a success out of myself. You, uh, you forgive me? Yeah, Dad. Just... Come on, got to get off the streets. Billy, hailed by many as the most generous YouTuber in the world, is now giving away a staggering amount of money to his fans. Ugh! He's taken everything from me. Wait just a second. Oh, 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 yeah. What if I stole all of Billy's giveaway money? Oh, that would definitely put me back on top. Everyone will want to see this. You no, know, Billy, I had no idea how wrong I was. Look at this. This is truly incredible. Having you here, understanding what I do, it means the world to me. Woo! Billy! Billy! I got the most incredible news in the world! You've done it, kid! You're finally a trillionaire! That's amazing! And just in time for my big convention! I've been thinking about it, and I'm gonna give back to all of them. Give back? What? Uh, give back to who? My money. I'm going to give it back to my fans. They deserve it just as much as I do. Oh, Billy, that's a big mistake. Big gesture. But if you give too much away, you won't be a trillionaire anymore. It's not about titles or numbers. It's about gratitude. <sighs> of course, Billy. You're the star. You're my shining. Yep, I get it, Timmy. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. You won't believe it. But thanks to all of you, YouTube has made me a trillionaire. And I want to give back to show my gratitude. I'm giving my money back to all of you, my fans. No way. I'm taking all this loser's money. Should have been mine all along. Grayson, get off the stage now. No, I'm sick of you and your goody two-shoes act. I'm taking your money whether you like it or not. Hey, Billy, can I get my money now? Huh? Uh-oh. Did you just hit me? Ah, that's it. You're going to jail. Just one more push. Ah! Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Would you like to hold your son? What? Ew, no. It's going to get my clothes dirty. Sir, he, he's your son. He's a trillionaire now. He must learn to live like one. And since I'm such a busy guy, it's up to you to take care of this kid right now. We're going to be late for our private jet to Fiji. Aren't you even going to name uh, him? No, you can just fill me in later. Sir, wait. I'm just your butler. I don't know how to raise a child. I guess I'll have to do my best. What am I going to name you? Noah? I like that name. Hey, yo, this airport is trillionaires only. Sir, this baby is a trillionaire. I don't care who he is. Get out of here. The Joneses just left on their how jet. How dare you? How dare you? Shut up and get out of here. Go. 
Now that it's my job to look out for you, I'll protect you no matter what. Whoa, what the heck? Give us your money, Mr. Jones! I am not Mr. Jones. I'm Justice Butler. Just hand over the car, then! No, there's a baby inside. You can't! Must be that trillionaire's baby. Would be ashamed if he got kidnapped. Yeah, we could make billions if we return him to his parents. <laughs> ha! No one's taking Noah! Hiya! Ugh, these criminals will never learn. Our first school talent show. So many people out there watching. Really hope mom and dad are here. Noah, you suck at singing. Talent shows are for people who are actually talented. I have talent, Lucas. I want to show my parents what I can do. Your parents won't show up, Noah. Face it, you're on your own. Next, Next up, up trillionaire, trillionaire Noah, Noah Jones. Jones. All right, you can do this, Noah. Uh, mom and dad aren't here. Ah, uh, it's all right, Noah. Just do what you can. You came here to sing. It's time to show them. Oh, oh wait, my voice. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! Well, that was terrible. Oh, you suck. Get off the stage. Lightheaded. My heart. It's it's racing. I can't. I can't breathe. I can't. I can't. It's okay, Noah. You just had a little panic attack. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Now everyone's gonna make fun of me even more. I can't stand those rich kids at the private school. Dad, why didn't you come to my talent show today? I was supposed to sing and you guys didn't show up. It was important to me. Did you win? If not, then I suppose I didn't miss anything important at all, did I? You don't get it, do you? It's one a normal family. You care about things that matter to me. Well, you don't have a normal family, Noah. You have a trillionaire family. You have it all. Stop complaining. Look, Noah, I gotta go, okay? I've got a lot of business to take care of, but, uh, you know, good luck with your thing that you had there. Sorry it didn't work out. My first time back here since the talent show. Maybe no one's gonna remember. Well, look who decided to show up. It's the kid who thinks he's something special. Well, guess what? You're not. Yeah, kid thinks he's better than us because he's a trillionaire. We're all rich here. I am a millionaire. So you're nothing special, Noah, seriously. It doesn't matter. Money doesn't make me who I am. You're just a freak. That's why your parents hate you. I'm not a freak, and my parents don't hate me. Then why weren't they at the talent show, huh? Or the science fair? It seems like your family's never around for anything you do. Well, they're just busy with their own lives. At least they have lives, unlike you. Oh, that's it. Huh. Hey, stop it. Who's going to make me? You. Take this. Oh, I'll see you in class, Noah. You're just a loser. And I don't want to deal with this today. I'm out of here. Man, I never skipped school before. I hope I don't get into too much trouble. Give us your lunch money, loser! I don't have any lunch money. I'm poor. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. He said he doesn't have any money. Who do you think you are? Trevor, I think he's another loser who wants a knuckle sandwich. Picking on someone doesn't make you tough. It makes you a weak loser. I will show you who's weak. Get out! Oh, Wally, look! This idiot's rich! <laughs> Let's take this and get out of here! Sorry about that, man. I tried my best. It's okay. That was actually kind of cool. Those guys pick on everyone. They're the worst. I'm sorry about your money, though. Yeah, don't worry about it. Money comes and goes. It's important is standing up for what's right. Yeah. I'm Ted, by the way. Maybe we can hang out after school. There you are, you rich little idiot. You can't skip school. And if you do, you can't let me find you talking to poor people. Stop it, Finkelberry. You're the one that's poor. Stop making fun of my friends. Okay, maybe. Shut up. Whatever. Come on, let's go. Let's hang out later, man. Yeah, definitely. You know, you're so lucky I'm such a good person, Noah. I could get you into some serious trouble. Oh, yeah. I'm so lucky, Fartberry. Shut up. I told you idiot kids never to call me that. Well, you brought me back to school. Good job. All right, I'm going to class now. Gosh, Finkleberry always smells like moldy cheese. Disgusting. There you are. I'm not done with you, Noah. I said I was going to teach you a lesson. Seriously, Lucas, I've had a really long day. You crossed the line and now you're going to pay. Huh? I said stop it. Ah, my face. My perfect face. What oh. on earth is going on over here? Noah, explain yourself. Did you just punch this kid? I started it, Finkleberry. I was defending myself. Yeah, you know what? I hate both of you. You're suspended from school. I'll give you 50K to not suspend me right now. Oh, 50K? No. You can't bribe me. Shut up. You two are going to the principal's office. You're both in trouble. I wanted to thank you for earlier, you know, saving me and 
having your money stolen. There you are, Noah. What are you doing in this poor neighborhood? This is Ted's house, Dad. He's my friend. This is a house? I thought it was a storage shed for lawnmowers or something. Oh, well, look, you're in big trouble, Noah. I heard you got suspended at school. I was defending myself, Dad. He started it. Yeah, I don't care about the details. I do business with his dad. And now I got a mess to clean up because of you. I'm going to lose money. And all you, you ever care about is money. You never listen or understand. And you need to understand that trillionaires don't hang out with poor people. You're better than this. Didn't Hank teach you anything? Come on, get in the car. I'm sorry, Ted. Oh, it's okay, Noah. Don't worry about it. So you need to apologize to Lucas right now. I'm not apologizing. He's a total jerk. Why do you even care? I do business with his father, and it's important to keep that relationship intact. You don't care that his son picks on me and makes my life miserable at school? No, not really. You'll get over it. Now, come on. Ring the doorbell. Get moving. Oh, someone's at the door. <laughs> Let's see who it is. Oh, Mr. Jones, what a surprise. Glad to see you. Come on in. I'm not stepping foot into your tiny house. My son's come here to apologize. I guess he was fighting with your millionaire son, whatever his name is Oh, there. you mean Lucas, of course. I'll fetch the little chap right away. What the heck, man? I don't want to do this. Yeah, well, deal with it, okay? Oh, great. What do you want, idiot? I'm in the middle of playing a video game. Just wanted to say, uh, sorry, Lucas, all right? I shouldn't have fought with you at school. You're sorry? That's it? You got me suspended too, loser. I hate you. And one day I'm going to ruin your life and have all your money. Can we hurry this up? Come on, I got stuff to do. You better watch your back, Noah. I'll get you back for this. Just wait and see. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. All right, everything's good. Little millionaire kid, go tell your dad everything's fine. Come on, Noah, let's go. What is your problem, Noah? Come on, seriously, you don't understand? What makes you think it's remotely acceptable to hang out with poor people? I'm allowed to have friends who aren't trillionaires, Dad. I'm sick of this obsession with money. I want real connections, real friends, and a real family. Money will always be your best friend, Noah. Have I taught you nothing? No, you haven't. Now, also, why all of a sudden do you want to just act like you're my dad? Hank's been more of a father figure to me than you've ever been. Is Hank the one who taught you how to fight people and associate with the poor? Did he fill your head with these nonsense lies? Hank's been there for me when you weren't. He cared for me like family. That's it. Hank, get in here. Yes, sir. Hank, you've done a terrible job at raising my son, and I can't look at you. You're fired. Dad, don't do this. Hank is like family to me. Hank is the worst. He smells terrible. He needs to leave now. See yourself out, Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. I didn't mean for this to happen. It's not fair. Noah, you've done nothing wrong. This is just how business works sometimes. Don't blame yourself. Business? Ha! Huh? You don't know the first thing about business. Well, I do know the first thing about caring for people. And you need to learn how to start being more of a father to your son. It's a shame to see someone so rich have such little self-respect. Take care, Noah. Hey, man, you ready to go? Yeah. Dude, this car is sick. Where'd you get it? Thanks, man. Yeah, I just got it the other day. My dad gave it to me. Uh, hop in. Let's go. Thanks for coming to this charity event, Ted. Just a heads up, though. These people can either be really mean or really boring. Yeah, no problem. I got your back. I guess it's all an experience, right? Yeah, you could say that. Man, my parents drag me to these things all the time. It's like a never-ending cycle. At least this one's for charity. Oh, look, Chase, it's the poor boy. Oh, poor people are real. What are you doing here? This event is for millionaires only. Actually, I was invited, Lucas. Yeah, back off, dude. Plus, he's more genuine than anyone in this room. Oh, yeah? I'll have you kicked out of here so fast, and I'll have you banned from the yacht club. I can't believe you'd bring a non-millionaire to this party. It's unacceptable. I'm going to call security. Dude, this is a bad idea. I don't want to hang out with these losers anyways. Yeah, you know what, Ted? You're right. Yeah, Let's you better soccer. go. Get out of here. Sorry about how they act, Ted. I don't understand what really matters. No, they don't. I don't understand these billionaire people anyways. They live such shallow existences. I mean, being mean to others, it's not worth our time. Right, dude, it's not. I don't like go grab some food and hit the arcade. Yeah, that's definitely more like it. Let's go. Hey, I didn't know you were home already. Glad to finally see you guys. Oh, Noah, we just got off a flight from Dubai. So much shopping to do, you won't believe it. I really miss you guys. Wish you were home more often. Sweetie, I miss you too. It's just that our business and jobs keep us away from most of the time. Well, you're still going to be home tomorrow night, right? Wait, I think, what is it, golf or something, right? We got something, right? Yeah, Dad, it's my birthday dinner, remember? You promised me last week you guys would come. Oh, right. I forget. That happens every year. I thought it was just the other day. Are you guys going to show up? It's going to mean a lot to me. Please. How could we forget? Of course we'll be there, Noah. You have our word. Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't remember the last time my parents spent my birthday with me. 
I actually don't know when they ever have, really. Well, whatever. I feel like things are going to change. We're going to be together finally as a family. Well, four hours late, or they're not coming. I hope they're okay. Dad? Noah, sorry we couldn't make it to dinner, son. Some unexpected business came up, so uh, we won't be making it tonight. Dad, are you serious? On my birthday? I'm always serious, Noah. I'm a trillionaire. Well, where's mom? Uh, I don't know. Italy or something. She had some trip or she had to go on. I don't know. Unbelievable. You guys are the worst parents ever. You know that? Oh, Noah, stop crying. Go buy yourself a new Bentley and call it a day. I gotta go. Man, I can't believe that they keep choosing work over me. Oh, uh, maybe Ted will want to hang out instead. Yeah, sorry. It's just... My dad lost his job a while ago, and we haven't been able to pay for our house. My parents are making me move all the way across Roblox. What? No! Well, that's awful. You're moving away? Yeah, it really sucks. I don't want to leave, but it's like we have no choice. Oh, no, Ted, you can't go. My only friend. Look, I appreciate that, man, but we can't pay for this house anymore. It's over. Well, let me help. How, how much money do you no, need? No, we work hard for what we have, and it's not up for you to help my family out. I want to help, Ted. My parents have so much money, and they just spend it on stupid stuff. Not fair you have to go through this. No, it's fine. My family is going to figure it out. Look, thanks for offering, though. I have to start packing. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, Ted. If you ever need anything, let me know. Guess it's just me on my birthday. Well, it's not too late to get some food delivered. About time you showed up. It's been a week. Where have you been? Noah, it's none of your business, okay? I had important things to take care of. Important things? Maybe like uh, the promise that you made to me, Dad? Why don't you care? Of course I care, Noah. I have business to do. You see this house? You see all this stuff? Where do you think it comes from, bud? You always have pressing matters, Dad. You always have business. Why isn't your family a priority to you? I've given my life to give all of this to my family. Are you kidding me? What more do you need? Love! A real family! Maybe that's what I need, Dad. All this money can't replace place things that are missing. You asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I've decided. I want you to buy my friend Ted's parents' house for them because they're about to lose what? it. What? No, absolutely not. Why would I do that? You have the means to make a difference. You have a watch that's more expensive than that house. Yeah, I know. It's nice, isn't it? I've got 15 of them. That kid's just using you for your money. I won't allow it. No, he's my only friend in this world, Dad. Make a new friend, bud, because uh, the answer is no. I won't entertain such ridiculous requests. Hey, to help a poor person. How absurd. Hey, I heard your stupid friend Ted's losing his house. Oh, hilarious, isn't it? It's not funny, Lucas. It's a terrible situation for Ted and his family. Boo-hoo. Maybe I should just buy it for fun and then bulldoze it. That would be a blast. You're a terrible person, Lucas. I'm not your bad attitude's gonna catch up to you. Y'all, this is Lucas Stilling. What do you want? Call about an exclusive party. Of course, count Telling me in. Telling friends to call you so you seem popular? Cool move. Shut up, loser. Whatever. I'm going to go hang out with people who actually like me because I have real friends with money and homes. Those aren't your friends, Lucas. Their dads work for your dad. They just want to suck up to you. They don't care. You're just jealous. It's so insane. I really am going to buy your friend's house, by the way. And I'm going to tear it to the ground and watch your friend cry like a baby. <laughs> Whatever. Get out of here. I can't let this happen to Ted. He deserves better than this. Lucas is the worst. Can't let him ruin Ted's life. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Jones. A pleasure to see you. What brings you in today? Look, I need to pay off a debt for a friend. I want to buy his house, but do I have enough money and stuff? Oh, uh, we'll find out, sir. I'm here to help you out. What's the address you'd like to pay off? It's 21 Roblox Lane, and I'd like to pay it off in full, please. It says here that's going to be uh, $200,000, sir. $200,000. I might have that in my weekly allowance account. Can you check? You actually have around $10 million in that account, sir, so I guess it'll cover the whole payment. Cool. Let's do it. Thanks, man. And if, you know, you're feeling generous and all, you could consider treating a helpful bank teller to a new Lamborghini or... No way. I'm here to help my friend. All right. Fine. You just made a payment of $200,000. Congratulations. Your friend's house is fine. Awesome. Thanks. Means a lot. You're welcome, sir. You know, it's nice to see a member of the Jones family actually using their money to help people. That doesn't happen often. I'm not like my parents. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Because they're going to get mad. Yes. No problem. <laughs> this will be our secret. All right, as soon as my dad calls, we'll crush the house down. Got it? Can't wait to tear this dumb thing down. Yeah, I don't care whatever you say, minimum wage loser. Just shut up. Lucas, are you out of your mind, man? You're too late, Noah. 
My dad is about to buy this place for me any second now. Yeah, well, he's not going to because I bought it myself. No, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. This property now belongs to me. And your bulldozer needs to leave immediately. Ugh, you stupid trillionaire. Well, this isn't over, Noah. You're going to regret getting in my way. Let's go, Gene. But we're not tearing this place down. Come on, I man. I said let's go, Gene. Hey, Ted, are you okay? No, not really. We had to move out, and now my family is stuck at this stupid motel. And this place sucks. The Wi-Fi here is awful. So what's up, Noah? What are you doing here? Look, I came to talk to you, but I need you to understand why I did what I just did. I bought your family's house. Now you don't have to what move. What the heck is wrong with you, what? Noah? Look, I thought you'd be happy. Happy that you can just justify giving away your money like it's nothing? No. I told you, I don't want your charity, dude. It's not charity, man. Plus, Lucas was going to bulldoze the house, and I didn't want him to treat you like that. You and your family needed help, and I could help you. What's wrong with you that? You just don't get it, do you? Everything's just given to you. You think money solves everything. I just wanted to help you out as a friend. A friend? Well, friends don't betray each other's trust. I thought I told you to leave it alone, but you went ahead and did this anyway. I you'd be happy that your house didn't get bulldozed by that jerk. Well, I'm not happy, Noah. I don't need your money, and I don't need your pity. Just go away. Noah! What's up, Dad? Why are you yelling? Why am I yelling? You spent all that money on that stupid poor people house? How dare you define me like that? That's a terrible business investment. That house sucks. It's my money, Dad, and my account. I can spend it however I want. You're always telling me to invest. I invested in a friend. I don't think that's a big deal. You've gone too far, Noah. You obviously are terrible at investing, too. I can't stand the way you act anymore. No son of mine is going to just throw his money away to the poor. I don't even know who you are anymore. How would you know who I ever was? You're never home. I'm always alone. Stop whining. You're so ungrateful. You have everything in the world. Yeah, except for friends and family. Family should mean something, but ours is just money. You know what? Whatever. You can go make friends at your new school. School? What are you talking about? I've decided to send you away to boarding school in France to finish up the schooling. Boarding school in France? I don't even speak French. Well, get learning, bud. Private jet's waiting for you right now. You're heading to France and that's final. See you in a couple years. Maybe you can learn a new attitude. Hello? Hello, is anyone home? Noah, glad to have you back, son. Didn't realize you were coming back today. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I'm happy to see you. I know it was rough when I left, but now I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too, man. That was France. It's actually kind of cool. I learned a lot about art and culture and the beauty of the world. Oh, and there was this one time oh, I- Oh, fantastic, Noah. Excellent. Can't wait to hear all about it. Come by my office when you have a chance and we'll go through it all together. What do you mean, Dad? Your office? You always said that was off limits. It is, but I think it's time you join the family business now. You're an adult. You've gained valuable knowledge during your time away. You'll be working with me, Noah, and that's final. Oh, working with you? Really? Oh, okay. Never thought I'd see the day. Absolutely. I can show you a thing or two about being a trillionaire. And I think it's important for you to be part of the decision-making process. You You'll have a voice in our business meeting, son, and... Oh, speaking of business, gotta go. Glad you're home. Well, it may not be exactly what I imagined, but maybe this time I get to spend some time with my dad. Wow, is this dad's office? Kind of cool. Hello, and welcome to Jones Enterprises. How can I... Oh. I didn't know you worked here. Yeah, my dad got me the job after I graduated. What are you doing in this building, loser? No dumb babies are allowed in here. Well, I work here now. It's my first day, just like you. Except I earned my position. Oh, please. You only have this job because your daddy's in charge. You're nothing but a spoiled trillionaire brat. You and I are more alike than you think. No, we're not, Lucas. Oh, my gosh. Look, dude, it's time to move past our differences and focus on our responsibilities. You're just another rich kid living off your family's fortune. Maybe it's time you realize that people can change. Seems like you never will, though. Now, if you don't mind, I got a meeting with my father. Whatever. There's no way I'm going to let this stupid punk walk in here and make more money than me. He's going to steal my fortune. Or so he thinks. <laughs> he won't last long at this job. I'll make sure of it. All right, Dad said to meet with his client, not to be late. I can't believe I'm working for him, but... You know what? I'm just happy we're spending time together. Oh, no! I can't control this! Ah! Ugh. Ugh. Noah? Noah, can you hear me? Ted, is that you? <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's me. You took quite a hit back there. I think I'm all right. Just a bit disoriented. Well, you were knocked out for a while. Doesn't seem like you have a concussion, though, so I think you're okay. I'm like, are you a firefighter now? Yeah, I'm a firefighter. I got the call there was an emergency. I've been doing this for a while now. Wow, that's great, dude. I'm happy for you. Look, Noah, I've been trying to get in touch with you for years, man. Yeah, man. After we got in that fight, same day, my dad sent me to boarding school. Long story, man. 
Sorry. Yeah, me too. We should catch up sometime. I am progress. All units respond. All units. Come on, let's go. Look, I, I gotta go. Duty calls, but I'm really glad you're okay. We'll, we'll catch up soon. I, I promise. Can't believe we're actually seeing each other again. I missed you a lot, dude. Yeah, I miss you too, man. It's great to be back in town. And uh, I want to apologize for everything back then. I was super emotional. I didn't realize how much you were actually doing for me and my family. I see it now, and I'm really sorry. It's all right, dude. I understand. It was complicated. I tried to apologize to you before, but I never heard back from you. I went to your house, and security chased me away. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, dude. Well, my dad took my phone and smashed it, and then I had to go get a new one, and I wasn't allowed to use it at the new school, so... Yeah, it was kind of stupid. I didn't really have a choice. I kind of just had to disappear. Your family got to keep the house, right? Yeah, we did. It's been really great for my mom and dad to not worry about one more bill. We're really grateful for you, Noah. Look, I want us to be friends again, man. I miss you. You're my best friend. Miss you too, man. It's all water under the bridge. So, look, dude, how's it been being a firefighter? It's been great, but recently we've had a big setback. The fire department's facing a big funding crisis, and we might lose our jobs. It's a tough situation, and it's going to put a lot of lives in danger. Yeah, dude, that's not good. What's the town going to do without firefighters? They're important. Exactly! But now that I'm thinking about it, do you think there's any way you could use your connections with all those rich, fancy people and get some charity for the department? Yeah, dude. I'll do my best. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out. I asked you to do one thing, Noah, and you blew it. Dad, I'm sorry I blew that deal. I was in a really bad accident. Accident or not, Noah, you still should have shown up. I've closed deals with a broken leg and the flu. It's about getting things done no matter what. Well, I was unconscious for a while. I couldn't have gone to the meeting. Excuses, Noah, excuses. This should be a good lesson for you. No matter what happens, you find a way to make things happen. You got it? Actually, Dad, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. I want to take some money and make an investment. Oh, now you're talking like a trillionaire. How much we talking? Couple a million. I, I have my own account now and I, I want to use that money to invest it, Dad. Well, son, you're starting to think like a true businessman and I'm proud of you for taking this step. Thanks, Dad. I, I really appreciate your support. I'll make sure to do the best with this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, today's a big day for our community. We're gathered here to express our deep gratitude for someone that showed tremendous generosity and made a significant impact on our fire department. I present to you folks, Noah Jones. He donated an incredible $5 million to our fire department. Wow. Noah, your donation really saved our fire department and our community. Well, it's the least I could do. Our firefighters risk their lives every day. It's an honor to support them. They're the true heroes. On behalf of the whole fire department and the community, I want to express our gratitude to you. Thanks, Chief. But it's not about me, but all of us coming together to make a difference. I encourage everyone to find ways, big or small, to support causes that matter to them. We can really create positive change, you know? That's true. Now, come on. We got some ribs smoking out back. Let's have a party. Ugh, rude. Way to just bulge in like that, Noah. Oh, whatever, dude. Dad, you want to see me? Some investment you made, Noah. I stand by it. I believe in making a positive impact. Well, that was stupid. What an idiot you are. See, sir, I told you he was an idiot. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, Lucas. Normally, I would think giving away money is foolish. It's my money, not anyone else's. But Noah, you're the first person in this company to do something truly good. The press is loving it. That's what you got out of this? Yes, the Joneses family is back in the headlines again. You taught me something today. Perhaps it's time we consider helping others and giving back. It could benefit our company in ways we never expected. Oh, wow. Kind of glad to hear you say that, Dad. I never thought I'd see the day. Sir, you, you can't be serious. All right, shut up, Lewis. It's Lucas, sir. Oh, Lucas is kind of stupid. I like Lewis better. Okay, well, anyway, maybe we should celebrate this newfound perspective. How about grabbing some dinner tonight? Oh, actually, I, I would love that, Dad. All right, come on. Hey, Lewis, guy, uh, yeah, clear my schedule, all right? Me and my son are going out for dinner. Ugh, I can't believe Noah would do that. He made me look like a total bozo. Maybe, just maybe, this little turn of events will divert some attention so I can continue my plans. <laughs> hey, Thomas, what happened here? Isn't this Lucas Sterling's new house? Yeah, I don't know, man. Someone set fire to this place. It's a shame. This house is insane. Well, it was insane. Well, has everybody been okay? Where did Lucas go? Yeah, he's fine. No one was home, not even the staff. Nothing serious, probably just some electrical stuff or something. Well, that's good. I'm gonna go look around, though. All right, be careful. The structure might not be stable yet. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Lucas's house burnt down? This doesn't make much sense. Oh, the computer. This didn't burn in the fire? That's kind of odd. What is this? 
Oh my gosh. Lucas has been stealing money from the Joneses? Oh, that snot-nosed brat. Ugh. No one needs to know about this. Hey, Ted. Noah, dude, you're not gonna believe this. I can't believe this. I am so mad right now. I've been telling you for years Lucas was no good, Dad. I know, Noah. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, okay? It's all right, Dad. I'm just relieved that you finally see the truth now. <sighs> Noah, I realized something important. I've been focused on myself and I've neglected what truly mattered. Honey? No, my family. I've let you down. And I'm truly sorry for that. Wow, Dad, thanks for saying that. It means a lot. I have to tell you something. Lucas has not only betrayed our trust, but has stolen a significant portion of our assets. Have you heard from him at all? The police are actively pursuing the case. They said they've assigned the best cops, and I got faith that they'll take care of it. Sorry our money was stolen, Dad. All right, son. It was an important lesson. It made me realize that without money, I'm not really much. And it got me kind of thinking about who I want to be. That's not the guy I want to be. I want to be a better dad. And I want to start caring more about this family. Oh, this worked perfectly. Goodbye, stupid Joneses. Thanks for the money. No more Starbeams! Put your hams in the air so you under arrest, y'all. What? No, please, you can't. No, I was supposed to make the arrest. This isn't fair. This was my moment to shine. Think and bury it. You never shines at all, y'all, okay? This be my moment. No, it's mine. No, I'm not going to jail. Think and bury it. Go, get him. No, he's running away. Go. I hate running. You run so fast. Oh, oh no, my face. Yeah, see what happens when you call me fat idiot? All right, I have had it up to here, y'all. You under arm wrist, and that's final. Come on, idiot. You're going to jail. No. Congratulations. It's a beautiful baby boy. Fantastic. Another trillionaire. The legacy continues. What is that? Oh no, it's criminals. They found out that you're here. Where are those stupid trillionaires? Quick, this trillionaire suite has a secret passage. Go now, save your family. Hey, doctor. Hey, yo, where are the trillionaires? They aren't here, you monsters. You're too late. Hurry, darling. Pilot, get this plane out of here. We need to leave now. Go, go. This isn't safe. We shouldn't be flying in this. We have no choice, dear. Those robbers won't stop coming for us or our fortune. Ah! What was that? The plane is going down. No! John, John, where are you? <coughs> I'm here. Our plane is destroyed. Don't worry, Susan, we'll just buy another one. The baby, where's our baby? He's over here. Oh, thank goodness. See, it takes a lot to hurt us trillionaires. I can't believe we're all okay. We're gonna name you. Shame. About time, Mike. Yeah, we're fine. Just a plane crash. Send a helicopter, okay? Oh, let's go. It's my birthday. Yes, I've told you a hundred times. I want it to be Gucci or else it's worthless. Hey, Mom. Busy Shane. Go bother your dad. I don't care if they don't make it. I want it. Hey, Dad. This is unacceptable. You test me again and I'll destroy you. Hey, Dad. Hey. What, Shane? Can't you see I'm busy yelling at these idiots? Sorry, it's just my birthday. I thought maybe we could have breakfast together. Breakfast? I get my fuel from making deals, not food. Wait, how old are you now? Uh, Dad, I'm 16. I just got my license, remember? Oh, yeah. Come with me. It's time you start acting like a trillionaire. Happy birthday, Shane, or whatever. This is for me? Yeah, obviously. Do you see anyone else here? Oh, Bert, about time. You better have good news or I'm going to lose it. I wish that my dad would just like hang out with me, especially on my birthday, but I mean, this is pretty sweet. I gotta try it out. Whoa, this car's way too fast. Ah! Wow, you really suck at driving, Shane. Oh, I'm learning, man. I just got my license the other day. Well, learn better. Uh, okay, thanks. Are my, are my parents coming to pick me up? What? No! Your parents are busy trillionaires. They're sending a helicopter. I don't want a stupid helicopter. Where do you think you're wobbling off to? Away from you, man. Man, I can't believe they wouldn't even come pick me up. What's wrong with them? Ow! Oh, man, these stupid crutches. Dude, are you okay? What? No. I'm, uh, wait, Clark, what are you doing here, man? Aren't you working at the marina? I was, but I heard about your accident. I wanted to make sure you're okay. Thanks, man. It really means a lot. It's been a tough day. You're the only person that showed up. My parents didn't even bother to come. Well, I'm sure they're just, like, busy or something. 
Too busy for my birthday, too busy for a hospital visit. Wait, it's your birthday? No way! Happy birthday, man! Yeah, thanks, dude. Hey, let's go get some dinner, my treat. Nah, you don't have to do that. Yeah, I do. You said you had a rough day. It's nothing a double cheeseburger can't fix. Yeah, actually, that sounds pretty good, man. I'll take you up on it. Thanks. You can just drop me off here. If my dad sees me with someone who isn't a trillionaire, he's gonna lose it. No offense, but your dad sounds like a jerk. Yeah, you're not wrong. But anyway, thanks for today, man. It was a really good birthday. Of course, dude. Anytime. I'll catch you later. There he is! How dare you! What? You're mad at me? That was a $500,000 car you trashed like a poor who can't drive. You could have been seriously hurt. Well, you guys wouldn't have known anyway. You left me at the hospital on my birthday. You didn't even come and visit. Oh, we're busy, Shane. Yeah, of course you were. You're always too busy every single time. I want real parents, not just a bank account. You're bad mouthing our wealth and you're being annoying. Get out of my sight. Gladly. Thanks for a terrible birthday. Hey, Shane, you taking out your dad's yacht today? Nah, man, just came down and wanted to say thank you again for yesterday. You're a solid friend, dude. That was cool. Uh, what is this? Hey, you! Why isn't my yacht clean yet? That's not my job? You're poor, aren't you? It sounds like a poor person's job to me. Shut up, Chad. Stop being such a jerk, man. Seriously, Shane? You're spending time with this loser? You're gonna catch poor. You're the real loser here, man. You treat people like garbage. Just shut up. You're an embarrassment to the trillionaire club, associating with the likes of him. Yeah, well, you're an embarrassment to humanity. Just because you're rich doesn't mean you're better than anyone else. In fact, you're kind of worse than everybody. Oh, well, honestly, whatever. I've got to go help my dad seal another billion dollar deal. Can't wait to spill the beans to your dad about your new friend. Man, that guy's the worst. Dude, this has been a really fun day. Thanks again, man. And I should be thanking you for helping me out at work today. It made things so much easier having an extra set of hands. Yeah, of course. I've always loved the ocean, and I learned so much today. I'm glad I could pitch in. It was actually kind of fun. Dude, what the heck? You can't drive on my lawn? My parents are gonna kill me. Tell them to shut up. This should cover the cost of the shack that you call a home. Dad, what are you doing? This is my friend, say sorry. You should be apologizing to me. You embarrassed our family today. How, by having fun and hanging out with my friend? First, by befriending marina workers over potential business partners like Chad. Second, you actually worked at the marina? Yeah, it was fun. That is not what trillionaires do. It's below us. I don't care. No jobs beneath me. Today was a good day and I got to spend it with my friend. What's so bad about that? Enough of this. This ends now. Get in the car. No. I said get in now. <sighs> Sorry, Clark. He's just going to keep doing this until I go. It's okay. Your dad really is the worst. I heard that. Keep talking and you lose your marina job, poor loser. Yeah, whatever. You are, without a doubt, the worst trillionaire ever! I don't care about being a trillionaire. I want real friends, Dad. You sound stupid! Everybody wants to be a trillionaire, and money will be your friend! No, it won't! Just look at you! You're the poorest rich person I've ever met! What does that even mean? Well, you surround yourself with all this stuff, but you're not happy! You're always angry, and the only reason people tolerate you is because you're rich! You don't have anything! So what? I love being rich! What's sad? I want more out of life than just being rich. Ugh, Shane, you'll understand when you're older. There's nothing sad about this life. Dad, I just want a regular family. I want you to love me as much as you love your money. That's impossible! I love money the most! I am so tired of you whining! Tomorrow, you're spending the day with Chad. He already has a good knack for business. What? No way! Chad sucks! I'm not hanging out with that guy. I know he sucks, but I don't care. Whether you like it or not, you will learn to be a proper trillionaire. And I'm gonna make sure of it. Oh great, it's Shane. Why do I have to hang out with you? You're so lame. Shut up, Chad. Yeah, shut up, Chad. We owe his father a favor. Plus, they do have more money than us. We have to give Shane a lesson on how to truly be a trillionaire. Ugh, fine, whatever. Good, I leave it up to you then, son. Show Shane around or something. I've got work to do. So this is like my dad's office or whatever. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, it is cool. Now shut up and come on. This is where all the losers work. Dude, you can't treat people like that. These people are working hard here. Oh my gosh, you're a dumb baby that knows nothing, huh? You've got to understand people don't matter. Only two things do, me and my money. All right, well, first of all, you don't even run a business. This is your dad's. And then you just parade around this office pretending your dad's money is yours. Because it is. No, it's not. And second, I'd rather be poor than turn into somebody like you. You're just a loser, Shane. A complete, utter waste. The real loser's you, man. All right, enough. Both of you are so annoying. Get out of my office now. Oh, gosh, thank goodness. Yeah, dude, and then he just called my dad. Like, this whole thing's a mess. Oh, man, you must be in so much trouble. Dude, that guy is the worst. Yo, what, what's that noise? I have no idea. Dad, what the heck? You two are trespassing on my property. This is my parents' house. Oh, great, the poor is talking to me. Ugh, not anymore, poor. I just bought it. What? No way, dude. They wouldn't sell our home. I offered them a cool million. They'll be fine. Dad, what is wrong with you? You embarrassed me for the last time time Shane I made an investment and this is a lesson for you being a trillionaire isn't easy please dad don't destroy his house oh I won't just destroy it I'm gonna turn it into rubble and after that you're off to a trillionaire only charter school no please don't do this this place is gonna make a great parking lot <laughs> I'm sorry Clark I'm so sorry man You have to be the worst trillionaire I've ever had the displeasure of teaching. Yeah, well, you're probably the worst trillionaire professor I ever had, so I guess we're even. I hate to say it, but you can graduate. Your dad, after all, did pay a lot of money to our school. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Well, thanks, I guess. Oh, my goodness. It's my mom and dad. Are you serious? Of course they aren't here. Is the big smelly baby looking for his mommy and daddy? <laughs> Looks like they ditched you again. Whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Well, my dad just got me a private jet. He's so proud of me. Wow, good for you, man. You graduated with the worst GPA in the school's history. Breaking records already. <laughs> You're so jealous of me. No, not really, man. The last two years being around you has been terrible. Well, brace yourself, loser, because your dad just bought my dad's company. Looks like we're going to be partners, huh? I don't care, Chad. Why are you talking to me? Well, you should care. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again really soon. My jet's waiting, though. Later, loser. Well, I guess I got to try to find an Uber. Either way, I got to get out of here. Mom? Dad? Hello? Anyone home? Classic. No one's here. Quimby, are you stupid? I told you to book that meeting at 2.14, not 2.15. Now my whole schedule is off. Sweetie, I'm glad you're home. Oh, yeah, hey, guys. You'll do what I tell you or you're fired, Quimby. Cool, you're back. So did you graduate or did they finally kick you out? I graduated. Oh, honey, I'm so thrilled. Yeah, that's good news. Now that you're a grown-up, it's time for you to learn the ropes of the family business. No, I'm good. I'm going to do something else. What does that even mean? Means I don't want to learn your business. I want to make my own. Shane. Well then, if that's your choice, your bill for the trillionaire school is $2 million. What? You didn't think that luxurious education came for free, did you? But you already paid for the tuition and you made me go to that school. I would have gone somewhere else. You either step up and learn the family business or pay me back the 2 million. That's the deal, take it or leave it. I don't have that kind of money, I'm broke. Well, then good thing you've got a job now. Your first day's tomorrow. Travis, this better be good news or I'll make sure you never work in this town again. Man, this is so messed up. My dad's making me work in this parking lot where Clark's house used to be. So if you're like a trillionaire at all, why are you out here working in the lot? I'm just trying to pay my dad back for school. Oh, right. Your dad owns this place, doesn't he? Jenkins, I don't pay you to stand around. I pay you to work. Well, uh, yes, sir. Right away, sir. It's day one, Shane, and you're already distracting my employees and ruining productivity. You're just asking me a question, Dad. You know, like being a human being. No, no, I don't think that's right. You need to stop treating people like dirt. And you need to start acting like a trillionaire. No more low common worker stuff. Learn the business from me and your debt will be paid off. Ugh, great. It's Quimby. I need to take this. Make it fast, you dumb moron. What? What do you mean they're late? Man, this just feels so weird. I... I can't stop thinking about Clark. Maybe I should try to go see him after work. 
Shane, whoa, man, I haven't seen you in like two years. Yeah, I know, man, it's been a while. Not since your dad, you know, destroyed my childhood home. Yeah, I know, dude, I'm so sorry about that. My dad's such a jerk. And then when he sent me to the trillionaire school, he didn't give me a phone. Yeah, well, it was a pretty messed up thing to do, man. So what brings you here now after all this time? Dude, I miss hanging out with you. I just want to be friends again. I miss you a lot too, man. You know, I'd love to hang out with you. You still working at the marina? Nah, not anymore. I've been kind of working on my own business idea. I've had it for a while. Well, that's awesome. Well, I mean, if you need a job in the meantime, you can work at my dad's company, I guess. It would give you some money until your business takes off. Thanks for the offer, but I could never work for your dad, Shane. I can forgive you for what happened, but not him. Yeah, I totally get it. All right, you did all the dumb worker stuff. Now it's time for you to start working in the office. Uh, aren't you going to show me around? Show you around? What? No. No, I'm far too busy for that. Figure it out yourself. There's no way I'm going to be working with you. Oh, great. Just what I needed. You're such a loser idiot. You don't even know how to act rich like me. Loser idiot? Great insult, man. Just great insult. Y'all, well, that's what you are. You chill out. If it helps, I actually think you're a loser. And trust me, I don't want to work here as much as you don't want me here. Well, then why don't you just quit and solve both our problems? You're ruining my life. I can't. I owe my dad money. So I'm going to have to tough it out. I suggest you do the same. Oh, money? What does that even mean? Gosh, man, do you even hear yourself talk? Yeah, I hear myself talk all the time. Don't you ever get sick of it? No, shut up! Mark my words, Shane. I'm going to make your life miserable for working here. You don't know what's coming. Man, I can't believe my dad wants all this done by the end of the day. I'm going to be here for like another 10 hours. Hey, Shane, just wanted to apologize for how I acted earlier. Hold on, what? Yeah, I was mean, and I wanted to say I'm sorry. I actually think you're going to be a great addition to the team. Wow, thanks. In fact, I got a surprise for you in the lobby. Go check it out. Wow, cool, man. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you fell for it. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. Of course, he's just trying to prank me. Shane, what is wrong with you? One day in this office and you're already destroying company property. What? I didn't break it. The computer was fine when I left the room. So it just magically broke itself. You must think I'm an idiot. No, it must have been Chad. You owe me $2 million. And now I'm going to add on whatever this computer thing costs. Just get back to work and finish that project. How am I supposed to work on the project? I don't have a computer. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Figure it out. I've always loved the water and working on these boats. It's so peaceful here. You can see why, man. I love it here, too. It's sick. You know, my business idea is to sell boats. I think there's so much potential there. Dude, it sounds so much better than working with my dad. I mean, it's my dream. I've had it for a long time. Been saving for a while, but I need more capital if I really want to make this successful. How about this? I've saved a bunch of money. My dad pays me pretty good. What if I just invested that money I saved and put it into your business? But won't your dad be mad at you for technically giving me money? Yeah, probably, but he's always mad at me. Well, I know that, but I mean, you owe him money. It's going to make him double mad. Well, if we can make this business work, I can pay him back. Then he's got nothing to say. Yo, loser. Still working at the marina? I thought you moved on from this dump. Shut up, Chad. Not everybody just has everything handed to them like you, okay? Well, that's a shame because it's kind of awesome. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Poor Z. Dude, I'm not going to listen to this guy who's never worked a single day in his life. Actually, I do work at a real job. This is a real job. No, it's not. This is where my dad parks his boat. A boat garage. It's a poor person's job. It's just a small step in my business. Just wait and see what happens, dude. Call whatever chumps. While you're dreaming, I'll be on my dad's yacht. How could you, Shane? Well, it wasn't that hard. Investing in a stupid company while you owe me money? Have I taught you nothing? Well, you did teach me to take advantage of investment opportunities, Dad. And Clark has potential. You don't know what he's capable of. Potential? If that poor had any potential, he'd already be rich, not peddling some boats at a marina. It's enough. He's my friend, okay? He's a person. Barely, he's a poor person. 
Well, look, I'm starting this business with Clark. It's way better than sitting in that office all day. It's cold in there anyway. I like being outside. You shut your dumb mouth. It's not cold. It's called air conditioning. And that's what rich people have. If you keep making foolish decisions like this, you're not going to have a job with me for any longer. Really? You're going to fire me? If you want to keep your job, you'll stop helping Clark's dumb baby dreams. Well, I can't make any promises, Dad. I know what I want to do, and it's not working for you. Great. Bert, how many times do I need to tell you? I expect good news. This all looks pretty nice and stuff, but with a price like this, how can I be sure? Clark and I fixed this boat up ourselves. That's why we can offer it at a much more affordable rate than other people. Exactly. And we've tested it ourselves a hundred times. It's completely safe. Quality and safety are our top priority. Quality and safety sound pretty good. You guys also seem kind of smart, so here, take this money. Thanks for the boat, man. Well, thanks for trusting us. Enjoy it. Dude, we make an amazing team. We nailed that sale. Yeah, we did. First the many, dude. Dude, and I want to help you out with the debt you owe your dad. Let's split the profits from this. Wait, really, man? I mean, you found this first boat and you did most of the work. Yeah, but you helped. And you really made the sale, not me. I kind of hate talking to people. Here, take this. Wow, thanks, dude. I'm going to start paying off my dad now. It's going to be awesome. Look, I know you just invested in me first, but why don't you and I be business partners? Let's make this official. Dude, I would love that. That sounds awesome. Awesome. And I just got a lead on a brand new boat to fix. So we're going to be making a whole lot of money real soon. Shane, are you going to admit it to me, or are we going to play a dumb little game? What are you talking about? Don't play stupid, man, even though you naturally are. Oh. Chad, cut it out. Why are you so upset, Dad? How much money have you been stealing from this company? None. Why would I ever take money from this company? Obviously to fund your friend's stupid boating business. No, that's not true. I put in all the money that I earned and saved on my own. Well, then where has all my money been going? There are millions of dollars missing from our company's accounts. You're going to pay for this. I'm your son. Do you really think I'd steal from my own family? Yeah, you did. And you made a terrible investment. That's what I said, Thad. It's ch Chad, sir. I've had enough of both of you. I quit. Good. Get out. And remember, you still owe me $2 million. Yeah, you'll get your money, Dad. That's all you ever care about anyway. Dude, another boat sold. That's the 10th one this week. I know. This business is really starting to take off. I made enough money to pay off my dad's debt already. I thought it would have taken me way longer. We're on to something good here, dude. If we keep this up, this business is going to be huge. Clark! Hey, Clark! What do you want, Chad? I want you to do your job. Wash my boat. No! Chad, I don't work here anymore. We're dropping off the boats that we sold. Every time you see me, you ask me to wash your boat. That's never been my job. It's not. And you guys are selling your dumb boat still? Oh my gosh, it's so sad. Not really, man. Our business is doing great. Way better than you'd think. Sure, whatever. So if you're not going to wash my boat, who is? You know, some people wash their boats themselves. Ew, literally you're so disgusting, Shane. Is that all of it? Yeah, Dad, I made sure that was all of it. Including interest? Yes, including interest. Just take the money. Oh, I must admit, I really didn't think you were going to be able to pull this off on your own. It's because you always underestimate me. You always judge me for not acting and being exactly like you. You're right, I did. And you're nothing like me, Shane. But I've got to say, you've made yourself into a mediocre business person. Thanks, I know coming from you, that was actually a genuine compliment. Why don't you just come back and work for me again? With that drive that you've got and what you've learned, you'd be unstoppable. Nah, I'm good. I just want to do my own thing with Clark. Well, uh, at least come back home. It's empty without you here. The staff sucks and your mom is always out with her friends. No, I don't think so, Dad. I need to keep making it on my own. Very well, then. Good luck, uh, I guess. Thanks, Dad. So, do you want to take it? I mean, it's a really beautiful boat. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. I mean, you just seem like a trustworthy guy, Shane. No, wait! You can't buy this boat! Chad, go away! Hey, 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 wait, hold on a second. What's this guy talking about? Look, you need to trust me on this. From one rich guy to another, Shane's boats... They're terrible! They're not safe! But he said they were! They are, I promise! Chad, stop lying and get out of here! You have to believe me, dude! These boats sink all the time! 
Do rich people lie to other rich people? What? Of course they do. They do it all the time. Especially you, Chad. Well, this other rich guy does make a point. And you're not rich like us. So I trust him. Chad, you've crossed the line, man. Now I'm actually getting mad. Well, you and your poor pathetic friend have another thing coming. And get used to being mad. I heard poor people are all mad all the time. You're literally the worst person in the world. Yeah, well, at least I'm rich. Oh. I'm not going to let him get away with this. No one's going to ruin this business. I'm so sorry, dude. Chad totally ruined this for us. No, it's just one sale, man. We're going to have plenty more opportunities. You're right. Things are going smoothly. I'm just worried Chad's going to keep trying to mess with us. Ah, forget him. Speaking of opportunities, I got a lead. There's a big fancy party happening this weekend. Dude, I bet a ton of rich people will be looking for boats. Exactly. So we need to get ourselves in there. And who knows? Maybe we can land a few mega sales. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's just hope Chad doesn't show up. Whoa, this party's super fancy. I bet my dad's here somewhere. Hey, I recognize you. Oh, yeah, you probably know my dad, the trillionaire. Nah, nah. I think he sold a boat to my friend, man. He's been talking about how awesome that thing is. He said that the custom work you did to it was sick. Oh, really? That's awesome. Well, I've got a bunch more that I'm trying to sell. Yeah, excellent. I've been on the market for a new boat for a while. My old one's like kind of old, you know? <laughs> so I sank it by accident last week. I wasn't paying attention, but like, whatever. I need a new boat, man. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Someone probably should have been driving the yacht, you know? Hey, Barnabas, you can't buy a boat from this idiot. They're the worst on the market. Chad, when will you get a life, dude? It's really sad. You have to trust me, dude. I'm rich like you. What? Well, I have no idea who you are, man. How'd you even get in here? Also, like, who cares if you have money or not? It doesn't define your character. Well, it should. Yo, is this guy serious? You better get out of here before I call security, man. No, don't do that. I I'll go. Gosh, man, that guy is terrible. Anyway, where were we? Well, look, man, I know you were talking about you want a new boat. We got plenty of yachts if you want to come look at them. Nah, I don't need to look at it, man. You seem like you're cool. My buddy liked the one that you sold him. Let's just buy the boat right now. Just wire you the money, bruh. Man, I can't believe it's my birthday again. I never thought I'd be where I am now. It's wild how fast time goes by and how much you can accomplish if you really work hard. Shane! Shane! Dad, why are you here? Well, I, uh, I wanted to talk about how well you've been doing with your business. Got to admit, I didn't know you had it in you. Oh, thanks. Is this a, is this a house? It's awfully small to be a house, isn't it? Was there anything you wanted to say to me? Why are you in my house? Look, I'm not sure what your attitude's about. You just walked into my house. Did you come here to talk business or what? Well, yes, business is always on my mind. Do you think I'd just come to this tiny little house for fun? Well, it is my birthday, Dad, so clearly you didn't remember. Oh my gosh, cry about it some more, Shane. I don't remember small things like that. They're irrelevant. The day I was born is irrelevant? All right, man, whatever. Anyway, my time is valuable, and I'm sick of spending it here in this closet you call a home. Wow, father of the year over here, huh? I want to discuss expanding my business. I think a partnership with you could be really beneficial for us, meaning me. No, Dad, I don't want that. I don't want you as a business partner. I want you as my father. You've got one. You just said I was father of the year. It was a joke. You're a terrible father. You've always been too busy with your work, your deals, your empire. You never thought about me, and you step on everybody. You treat everybody like trash. That's just the trillionaire way. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I don't care about the trillionaire way. What I want right now is for you to just leave me alone. It's my birthday. I've got plans. Dude, did you ever think we'd be standing here? Look at all this. All those boats. We sold every single one of them. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't think this was going to happen when I was scrubbing the decks of other people's yachts for video game money. That's for sure. Man, I'm really happy that we did this together. Me too, man. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I don't think any of this would have really happened. Best part is, is we did it on our own. We didn't take my dad's interference or help. Everything we did was because of hard work. Yeah, it feels really accomplishing standing here now. Thanks, Clark. You're a great friend. Thanks for always being there for me. No, it's not fair. Shane thinks he can get everything through hard work. Oh, it's so stupid. Well, he wants to be richer than me. He wants to make me look stupid. Then this whole family is going to pay for this. Oh, sweet. Now I've got all his dad's money. It's mine. <laughs> I need to get out of the country fast. 
Huh, what's this? Did the deal go through? What? What the heck is this? My bank account is zero dollars? That's impossible! I've been robbed! Bert, where's all my money? Shane! Shane! Oh, phew, there you are. Thank goodness I found you in this closet. What is it, Dad? I need your help right now. My help? What are you talking about? Why? Chad stole all the money from my accounts. All of it. You're a trillionaire. Surely you can figure it out yourself, right? You don't get it, Shane. He took everything from me. I'm, I'm... Poor? Don't you ever call me that again. How dare you? <laughs> Look, I'll do what I can to help you. But you built your empire from the ground up. You can probably figure this out yourself, too. I know I haven't been the best father to you, and I'm sorry for that. I should have listened to you about Chad from the beginning. That means a lot. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, I never thought I'd be broke, but here we are. I'll do my best to help you fix this. But you need to work on being my dad, not just a business partner. I understand, and I agree. I'm just gonna take my dad's bet. I don't even care. I'll repay him with my trillions of dollars. Oh, let him cry about it, stupid dad. You're not going anywhere with my dad's money. You? How did you find me? It was pretty easy. You tweeted about all the money you just got randomly, going to cruise around the world. Whatever. You suck, Shane. I know how to use all this money so much better than you and your dad. That money was never mine, and it's definitely not yours. Shut up. It's mine now, so get off my boat, idiot! Ah! Ah! Rufus, he's in here! Is this the little mams right here? Yeah, that's him. Oh, yes, okay. You under arrest now, y'all. You going to Yale. Ah! Well done, my love. Another trillionaire in the family. Von Wright is gonna be so happy to meet his new brother. Let's name him Colin. <laughs> We hit something! The yacht is going down! Every man for themselves! Oh, I'm definitely gonna get fired for this! Ah! Take the baby and make sure he's safe! The yacht's going down! Ah! Help! Rachel? Rachel! No! No! I'm so sorry, Colin. Looks like it's just us now. A helicopter! Over here! We're over here! Thank goodness. Don't worry, son. We're going home. Thanks for the ride, Leonard. Take care, sir. Dad! I'm so happy you're home. I, I want to go buy new video games. Uh, hey, hey, where's Mom? Unfortunately, son, our yacht sank. She didn't survive. What? Mom is gone? Forever? Yes, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, it Who's that? Conrad, meet your new baby brother, Colin. What? I don't want a brother. What do you mean? He killed Mom. I hate him. Conrad Goldman, he did not kill your mother. It was that penniless captain I hired. Stupid poor person. Whatever. I still don't like him. And I'm not sharing any of my money with him either. We're trillionaires. There's more than enough for everyone. We need to stick together. Especially now. Ugh, I don't care. I never want this stupid brother. Now take me to the store. I'm gonna buy video game. Now! You know, Colin, you really should make some friends. Ugh, I have friends, Dad. Imaginary ones don't count. Ha ha, very funny. Whoa! Hey, what the heck is this guy doing? Hand over all your money or you're coming with me! Dad, what is happening? Another robber. Great, fourth one this week. Ah! Hold on tight! <laughs> oh no you don't! You can't escape me! Dad, he's following us! Don't worry, I've gotten really good at this by now. I think I lost them. Whew. Who was that? Just someone after our money again. When you're a trillionaire, you learn that you can only really trust your family and other rich people. But why? Being this rich puts a target on our backs. Others are gonna try to exploit you for your money. We live a difficult life. All right, now go on and have fun at the park. You're just gonna leave me here after what just happened? You'll be fine. The park is right across the street. I need to talk to the police about this. Well, maybe he's right. I don't really have any friends. Maybe I can find some here. Hey, wait. I know that guy. Hey, Max. Max, hey. I'm Colin, you know, from school. Ugh, 
Yeah, I know who you are, trillionaire boy. Right. Um, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. Maybe we could be friends? Oh, as if. No one wants to be friends with a trillionaire loser like you. So what if I'm a trillionaire? My money doesn't make me who I am. I'm just trying to make friends here. Well, it's not going to be me. Guess not. You know what? I don't want to be friends with mean people anyways. Is that right? Ugh! Ow! You suck! Hey, leave him alone. Ah! Oh, my face! Sarah, what is wrong with you? You're my problem, Max. Now get lost. <laughs> Whoa, thanks. Don't mention it. Max is just a big dumb bully. He needs to be taught a lesson anyways. Hey, we're in the same math class, right? Oh, right. I, um... I never really noticed. Uh, I just hate math so much. Well, I'm actually pretty good at it. If you ever need help, just let me know. Really? That would be amazing. Do you want to come over later? Maybe we can study together. We've got the big test on Friday. Sure thing, trillionaire boy. Hey, Conrad, what's up? Ugh. Listen, loser, don't ever talk to me again. Dude, what is your deal? Why do you hate me so much? You ruined my life. Everything was perfect before you were born. I ruined your life? You're the reason why mom is gone. And you're going to take half of dad's money when he's gone too. It's not my fault mom died. Our yacht sank. And I don't want to take dad's money. <laughs> of course you do. Everyone does. But I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. Hey, I can hear you from inside. Why are you two always fighting? Because he sucks, Dad, and I hate him. I didn't do anything. I just said hi to him. Well, I've had enough of this. You two need to learn to get along. We're trillionaires. Family's the only people who we can trust. This ends right now. You two are going to spend time together today and enjoy it. Dad, please, no. You two need to learn to be brothers. I'm so sick of this. So I guess we're stuck together. Yeah. I hate it. So what do you want to do? Ugh, I don't know. But we need to just shut Dad up. Go to the mall or something. All right, I guess that sounds good. Come on, get in. And don't touch anything. All right, we're here. So what do you want to do? I mean, we could go to the arcade or maybe go to the food court. Ugh, I don't know. You figure it out. We're supposed to do this together, Conrad. Nah, that's lame. I'm going to hang out with my rich friends. You're joking, right? See ya, loser! Conrad! Ugh! I should have known better. I had the most selfish brother in the entire world. Better call Dad to come pick me up. Well, what do we have here? Your fancy phone, huh? Is this the rich loser you were talking about? <laughs> yup, this is him, the trillionaire. Knock it off, Max. Just give me my phone back. Nah, I think I'll keep this. Your stupid girlfriend isn't here to save you now. I bet he's got lots of money on him, too. Let's get him. No. Wait, back off, guys. Leave me alone. Give us some money, rich boy. Yeah, I want a G-Wagon. Ugh, where'd he go? You lost him. Shut up, idiot. You lost him. Wait, I, uh, I think he's this way way too close. Dad was right. People will always be after my money. I need to go home. <sighs> Only a few more miles to go. I think. Oh man, I don't even know where I am. Holland? What are you doing out here? This is the poor part of town. I was just trying to find my way home. Why didn't you call me? I would have sent a car for you. I would have, but some bullies at the mall stole my phone. Well, that should teach you a lesson. You shouldn't have run away from me at the mall, Colin. What are you talking about? None of this would have happened if you just stayed with me. I don't know why he did it, Dad. I tried to stop him, but I don't know. No, no more lies, Conrad. You left me there at the mall alone. I wouldn't have been in that situation if it wasn't for you. What? Is this true? Dad, he's lying to you. You have to believe me. Sadly, Conrad, I don't believe a single word you said because you're a terrible liar. Oh, and you're grounded. What? No, I'm not. Your little brother looks stupid and I have to buy him a new phone now. No more driving Lamborghinis for a month. Now let's go home. You're going to regret telling dad, loser. No, no, no. You have to cross multiply first, then divide. Oh, okay. I think I got it now. I hope so. The final is coming up next week. Hey, thanks again for helping me with all this math homework. You are so smart, Sarah. It's okay. You don't need to thank me. I actually really like hanging out with you. You do? 
Of course I do. Isn't it obvious? Well then, uh, actually, I was thinking, would you want to hang out and go see a movie sometime? You know, instead of studying? Yeah, I'd love to. Colin, can you come here for a moment? Now! Uh, yeah, sure thing. One second, Sarah. What's up, Dad? You can't be going out with that girl. What? Why not? What if people saw you two together? She isn't like us. She's not rich. She doesn't belong to any exclusive clubs. She's not even wearing designer clothes. You can't trust her. We can totally trust her, Dad. I've known Sarah for six years. She's like my best friend. She's fine as your friend. And someone that will help you with your schoolwork. But not someone you should be going on a date with. Fine, I'll take her home. No! Have one of our drivers take her home. I don't want people in our neighborhood seeing you with a poor person. Ugh, whatever, Dad. I am so excited to see the new Shane Plays movie. Same. I've heard it's going to be amazing. This is going to be the best date ever. I think you might be right. What the heck do you think you're doing? Oh, great. You are so dead. We're just going to see a movie, Conrad. Mind your own business. You're going to see a movie with a poor person? <laughs> You're such a jerk, Conrad. No wonder why you don't have any friends. I don't care what you think. You're poor and pathetic. You don't even deserve to breathe the same air as me. You can't talk to her like that. <laughs> I could do whatever I want. And remember this, you're making a major mistake, Colin, and you're going to regret it. Are you worried about him? No, he's just being Conrad. Let's not let him ruin our night. Come on, let's go see this movie. I heard Officer Rufus is in it. I am so disappointed with you. What did I do? You went on a date with that poor girl after I told you not to. I told you, Dad. He didn't listen. And he's just going to get used for our money. You both don't know what you're talking about. Sarah likes me for who I am, not because we're trillionaires. I already told you, we can't trust normal people. Not everyone is after our money. There are good people still out there, and they aren't necessarily rich. No, no, I don't think that's right. Oh, look, Dad, he's already caught poor. He's even thinking like a poor. Maybe you should write him out of the will, Dad. He doesn't deserve our fortune. Okay, enough. I won't be writing anyone out of my will. But it's high time you started to make friends with your own kind, Colin. You're going to a private school for rich kids only. First thing in the morning. What? I am so proud of you, son. You've finished trillionaire school and learned all the ins and outs of the trillionaire world. To be honest, Dad, I hated it. Being surrounded by snobby rich kids and teachers, it sucked. And their ideas on poor people, they're just really jaded. Well, maybe you just need more time to let the lesson sink in, that's all. I think it's time you join me in the family business. I'm really excited to work with you, Dad, but I'm not sure if business is really what I'm best at. Nonsense! It's in your blood! You're a goldman! It's what we do! I just don't think business is my thing. Well, your brother has done an incredible job, and I know you will too. Oh yeah? How is Conrad? I haven't seen him or heard from him since you sent me here. Well, actually, I've got a surprise for you. Just get in the car. I've got to show you. Okay. Look at this, huh? I'm so happy to have my sons back together. You know, you're right, Dad. It feels good to finally get some time with my brother. Good to see you, Colin. Yeah, it's uh, good to see you, too. Colin, you're going to work under Conrad and learn the business from him. Is this the surprise you were telling me about? It is! Now you're going to be working with your brother. Look, I've got a meeting and I need to run. Make money, boys! So, what exactly am I going to be doing here? Failing, of course. What are you talking about? Do you really think I want you working here? You're nothing to me. I'm going to make sure that you fail and Dad hates you. I really thought you might have changed for a split second. But you know, you're still the same old Conrad. I'm your boss now. So listen, your first assignment is to go to one of our top clients and try to pitch them the new deal. Okay, sure. What new deal am I pitching exactly? I can't do everything for you, Colin. Mikey, you are literally the worst assistant in the world. Oh, I, uh, I did my best. Oh, I did my best. Your best is trash. I would fire you if my dad didn't need an errand boy. I didn't know they'd put an extra sugar in your coffee. Just get me a new one. Oh, stupid. Dude, you can't treat people this way. 
Are you talking to me? Yeah, I am. Dad would be so mad if he knew you were doing this. I don't care. This guy is a sad, poor loser. You seriously know nothing about being a trillionaire. Having money doesn't mean you can just walk all over people and act this way. Oh, uh, yeah, it does actually. Mikey, what are you still doing here? Go get me another coffee. Oh man, my favorite shirt's ruined. Now I look like an idiot. I'm really sorry about my brother. Here, use this to get a new shirt, okay? Uh, thanks, but why are you being so nice? Because why not? Conrad treats me like dirt and uh, no offense, your dad does too. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry for that. But I think you should always treat people with compassion. You can't be serious. We already have a deal with your company. Why are you here again? Oh, I'm sorry, doctor, but my boss told me to come down here and make you a new offer. An offer to be annoying and stupid? You know, I might just cancel our deal because of you. Good day, sir. Wow, that guy has serious anger issues. Colin did this on purpose. Just to make me look stupid. I, I know it. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no way. Hey, Sarah. Colin, I haven't seen you in 10 years. How can you just say hi? Uh, I'm sorry for what happened, Sarah. My dad shipped me off to like a trillionaire boarding school and he didn't give me a chance to talk to you. I never wanted to leave things the way we did. Trillionaire school? Huh, I didn't know that's what happened. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I totally get it. How have you been though? Look, you're finally a doctor, huh? Yeah, I graduated top of my class and have been saving a lot of people at the hospital. That's great. I'm really happy for you. Say, would you want to get a coffee after work and catch up? I've missed you a lot. Sure, why not? I would love to. Colin Goldman, get over here right now. What's wrong now, Dad? I just got off the phone with Dr. Jones. How could you do something so foolish with one of our biggest deals? I was just doing what Conrad told me to do. Stop blaming your brother. You need to take responsibility for your own actions. You're a grown man now. Act like it. I'm telling you, Dad, it wasn't my fault. He sent me there. He set me up. Conrad has made our company a lot of money. He's not the one to blame here, you are. Well, how am I supposed to succeed if Conrad's trying to set me up for failure? I don't want to hear another word of this ridiculousness. You two are brothers and you will run this business after I'm gone. Do I make myself clear? Yes, dad. Good, now leave me alone. It's so great to be going out again. I feel the same way. You know, I heard this place was actually pretty good. Oh no, 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 no. What the heck are you doing, Colin? Seriously, man, let me live my life. You're such an annoying brat. See, you haven't changed, Conrad. You're still one of the worst human beings I have ever met. Do you know how mad dad is going to be when he hears you're still going out with this poor girl? I don't care what he thinks. And Sarah isn't poor. Yeah, seriously, you don't know me at all. If you don't have a trillion dollars, you're poor. I didn't make the rules. You know what? Whatever. Just leave us and let us enjoy the rest of our night. Hey, excuse me. I'm the owner of this restaurant. Is there a problem over here? <laughs> I'll show you who's poor. I want to buy this restaurant. Here's a billion dollars. Sold. The restaurant's yours. I'm rich. <laughs> and now, as the new owner, I'm going to make a new rule. You two are banned and never allowed back. Security. Ugh, don't bother. We're going somewhere else. Come on, Sarah. Gladly. How many times do I need to tell you you're not allowed to date this normal poor girl? I am not poor. Dad, Sarah is a doctor. Doctors are poor compared to us. I really don't care what you think. I'm gonna date her anyway. She just wants to date you for your money. I've seen it before. All you millionaires are the same. It's disgusting. Sarah has her own career and her own money. I don't want her money and she doesn't want any of mine. And she doesn't need it either. I have all the money I could ever need and I don't care. I like your son and nothing is gonna change that. Well, a doctor isn't a trillionaire, but they do get paid well enough. I guess it's acceptable for you to date her. Wow, great, thanks dad. I didn't ask and I wasn't going to anyways. You heard me. I want you to make this go away right now. I'm on it, boss. Don't you worry. Uh, who the heck was that? 
<coughs> none of your business, so don't worry about it. Does dad know you're giving money to sketchy people in the office? I told you it's none of your business. I've made us a lot of money. Dad needs to know about this, and I'm going to tell him after my wedding. Oh, is that today? Yeah, and despite of how big of a jerk you are, you're still my brother, and I want you to be there. I don't want to go to your pathetic loser wedding to a poor person. You're lucky I even let you keep your job. Well, if you don't want to go, then I guess that's your loss. I'd rather burn my money than see you let a poor person into our family. You can't still be this self-centered around money. Money is everything. Without it, you would be nothing. You know what? Whatever, dude. I have my wedding to get to. Have fun being here on your own. Sarah, do you take Colin to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And Colin, do you take Sarah to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you husband and wife. This is the happiest day of my life. Mine too. Well done. Well done, the two of you. I'm very proud of you, Colin. And I'm happy to have you join our family, Sarah. Sorry I was a total utter jerk before. I'm happy that your family finally accepted me. Yeah, it's great that we all got to share this moment together. I just wish your brother was here. You know how he is. Selfish as usual. I want to give you both your wedding gift. Uh, uh. Dad, are you okay? I'm I'm fine. It's a... Uh, uh. Dad! Oh no! Sarah, what's happening? I think he's having a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 911? Yes. We need an ambulance. My dad is having a heart attack. Please, hurry! Whoa. What happened? You had a heart attack, Dad. You're on life support. Where's Conrad? I've been calling him, but he won't pick up. Uh, well, forget it. You know, I built my fortune for both of you. For my sons to share and divide equally. I know, Dad. You've told me that before. But I doubt Conrad will go along with it. I don't care what he thinks. This is my wish. Split the fortune and split the business, too. Promise? I promise. And Colin? I want to apologize for keeping you away from Sarah. I was taken advantage of many times and thought it could happen to you. You were just doing what you thought was right. And I understand that now. What do you want me to do about Conrad? Do everything you can to get along with him. You two are all each other have left. I'm sorry. I love you, son. Dad? Dad! No! You're sick, Conrad! How could you not even bother to show up when our own father was dying? It was sad, yeah, but I was busy. Too busy to be with Dad? Yes, I was! Plus, Dad would want me to keep the business running. This isn't just your company anymore. Dad wanted us to work together and repair our relationship. He told me we're gonna split everything. Oh, I knew this would happen. The moment you were born, I knew I had to give you half of everything that's mine. It's not about the money, Conrad. It's about having our family together. Well, I don't care about being together. I don't want you managing the company. Why not? Because you're stupid, inexperienced, and emotional. But it seems I have no choice, do I? Just give it a try, Conrad, please. For dad. <sighs> Fine, I guess. We'll work together. Now leave me alone. I have a meeting in five. <sighs> Unbelievable. It's so nice to finally get out of the house for a date night. I know. It's been so long since we've done this. What the? Ah! Sarah. Sarah, are you okay? I'm okay. W what's happening? Oh, I think it could be a robber. Come on. Hey, stop running. <laughs> Nowhere to run now. You're coming with me. I'll go with you willingly. Just leave my wife alone. <laughs> I'm not after you. Huh. Ugh. Colin, no! Let me go! No! Ow. Ugh. What happened? Where's my wife? Oh, you, you took a pretty good hit to the head. You're lucky to be alive. I need to find Sarah. Where is she? Oh, yeah. About that. Here you go. If you want to see your wife again, hand over your entire fortune. Come alone. Don't call the police or else they kidnap my wife for ransom. You can't give that money away, Colin. What? I have to. What are you even doing here? That is my money, our family fortune. And you're just going to give it to some poor criminal? I don't care what you think. There are things way more important than our money. Like what? Like my wife. Oh, man. If you do this, you're out of the business. I won't allow the company to be run by such a poor loser. 
Fine. I don't care. I'm going to save my wife. Ha! Huh. Good. All according to plan. Are you sure you won't follow? Positive. I didn't call the police, just like your note said. Ugh, oh, good. Is that all of it? This is all the money and the deed to half the estate, everything. Ha <laughs> ha, hand it over. Here, take it, scumbag. <laughs> good. Looks like this is everything. Oh, I'm a trillionaire. Now, where is my wife? Oh, yeah. Uh, here you go. Colin! Sarah, thank goodness. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> So happy to have you back. Are you okay? I was a little scared, but I knew you would save me. I had to hand over all of my inheritance, all our money. I gave him everything, the fortune, the estate, even my share of the company. What are you gonna do now that you don't have the family business? I'm gonna start my own company and I'll run it the way I want to. If that's what you wanna do, I've got your back. Thanks, love. I'm just so happy you're okay. Colin, I've been wanting to tell you something. I'm pregnant. Wait, really? I've always wanted to have a family with you. Me too. Thanks for taking me to work, Dad. Of course, Chris. You know, when I was your age, my dad started showing me the ropes of this business. Did Grandpa have an office like this? Sort of. At the time, his business was way more successful than mine. Dad, you're doing great. You did this on your own, and you're expanding into multiple cities. It's been a long road and a tough journey, but we've got more room to grow. I'm going to be a trillionaire again. Just wait and see. Colin, there you are. I need your help. I haven't seen you in 15 years, Conrad. You know you have a nephew now? Uh, yeah. Hi, Uncle Conrad. Ugh, don't call me that. Wow, then you're still the same. What do you need now? Family business has been losing money for a while. Well, as dad would tell us, figure it out. Oh, I've been watching you for a bit and you're doing great. With the success of your company, it only makes sense for us to merge. You can rejoin the family business. I don't want to join you. I'm making this company on my own and I'm making it for my son. I don't have time for your stupid little child. Help me. Don't talk about my son like that. You know what? We're done with this conversation. Leave now. Oh, fine. But you're making a big mistake, Colin. Oh, this is unacceptable, Mikey! I'm sorry? Because of you, we had to lay off most of the company and sell all of our stuff! I had to sell my private jet! How is that any of my fault? I'm just your assistant. I don't know, but it sounds like a poor idiot issue. You know, I'm the last employee you have. So? I've tried to help you, and this is how you repay me? I'm repaying you by not firing you right this second. That's okay. I don't want to work here anyway. I quit. Huh? You can't quit. Yes, I can. And I'm going to go tell your brother that you kidnapped his wife. Go for it. It won't matter anyway. Get out of my sight, Mikey. Gladly. I don't need you. I don't need anyone. Mikey, why are you here? I've already told Conrad I'm not going to be working with him, so no matter what deal you have, I'm not signing it. I quit the company. I'm tired of the way Conrad treats me. He's mean! Well, then why are you here then? I needed to tell you the truth. Conrad was the one who set up the kidnapping, so he could take all of your money for himself. I never thought he could do something so terrible. Mikey, thanks for letting us know. Of course. And, uh, do you need a new assistant for your company? Actually... I think I could really use one. You want a job? Please, I have a family now and I could really use some money. You always did a great job for my father. The job is yours. Thanks, Colin. You're not gonna regret this, thank you. So your brother kidnapped me and stole your fortune. What are we gonna do now? We need to go to the police. He had my wife kidnapped and I have a witness to this too. I was in real danger because of him! Aw, oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? Not me. <laughs> Your brother pays the police station very well. All these new cars and uniforms are because of him. And I look so good in this uniform. That doesn't make him above the law. Actually, it does. Because I am the law! Now get out of here! You're annoying! And I need to buy T-Swift tickets. Well, looks like my brother paid off the police. Now he can do whatever he wants. How are you gonna stop him now? I have an idea. Conrad told me the old family business was going under. What's the idea? I just need to make some phone calls. Hey, Conrad, we need to talk. 
Uh, what, what was that? Uh, I don't talk to poor people. Please leave. I know what you did to Sarah. Who? Don't play stupid. You had my wife kidnapped all those years ago. Everything you had should have been mine in the first place. I was just taken back what was rightfully mine. You're my brother. How can you still defend what you did? Oh, uh, whatever. This can't be the only reason why you're here. Did you decide to help me finally? We are brothers after all. Yeah, I decided to help the business. Excellent news. Let's get the merger papers written up. Oh, there's no need for that. I spoke with the board of directors and they agreed to sell the entire company to me. That's impossible. I would never allow that. It's already been approved. You ran dad's business into the ground. The board is mad and I'm going to save this company. Are you? Oh, you'll regret this. You are no longer my brother. And honestly, you never were to begin with. Oh, and now that I'm the boss, you're fired. You can see yourself out. Oh! Happy birthday, Dad. You're 100 years old. I almost forgot. Thank you, son. I can't believe I'm finally a trillionaire once again, too. So, uh, what do you want to do now, Dad? It's time for me to retire. I want you to run the business. I won't let you down, Dad. I know you'll do great. 